Hi guys, welcome to Code Bashers. Guys, in this video, I will be discussing the latest TCS Ninja as well as TCS Digital Interview Experience. This interview happened recently only that is on 21st June 2024. So guys, make sure that you are watching this video till the end so that you can get to know the different different type of questions that you are getting asked in the interview. Okay, and guys, from past 20 days, I am making lot of videos regarding TCS NQT interview experiences for all the profiles I have mentioned, Ninja, Digital and Prime. Okay, and I will keep on posting such videos for different different companies also. So make sure that you are hitting that like button as well as subscribing for this channel. Okay, and guys, we are taking mock interviews for different different profiles for TCS, whether it is Ninja, whether it is Prime, whether it is Digital. So make sure that the slots are very limited. So make sure that if you want to book the mock interview with us, you book as soon as possible. Okay, all the links you'll find in the description box. So guys, now let's start this video. And before starting the video, please hit that like button. Okay, so guys, first of all, I will be discussing a ninja interview. So first question, as you all know, will be introduction. You can include your education background, your skills, your projects, your internships, your extracurricular activities and your achievements. All these things you can include. Next is which programming language do you know? So any one programming language you can mention to the interviewer. Next is how much would you rate yourself in Python? So as this candidate choose Python. So again, based on your understanding, you can rate yourself. Okay. Next is nowadays where do you use Python? So first of all, Python is used many in many way in many areas like machine learning also in Python used and AI ML things that is are going on are based on Python language only. Okay. So moving to the next question. Next question was OOPS concepts. So we all know what are OOPS concepts. It is abstraction, encapsulation, inheritance, and uh, polymorphism. Okay. So you can mention that that uh, and explain each of these concepts in brief to the interviewer. How to explain OOPS concepts in brief, I have made a dedicated video for it. I will give you the link in the i button or in the description box. Okay. Next question is what is an object and a class? So again, a class, a class describe how object will look and object is a blueprint of the class. This is a single line definition. Okay. Next question is what is inheritance? So again, I have told you like this is, this is one of the OOPS concepts. You will have to study about what is inheritance in single line definition if I tell you that there will be a child class which will inherit some of the properties from the parent class and there are different different types of inheritance also there okay so there is single inheritance multi-level inheritance multiple inheritance hierarchical inheritance so these are the types of inheritance you must know okay next is write a code to reverse a string so if you are given a string str equivalent to let's suppose code then uh, output will be the output will be the reverse of the string that is edoc so this is the how to reverse a string so code it is a very basic question that can be asked from you it can it is it was asked in the ninja interview okay so i hope this question is clear to you next is write a code to reverse an array and explain the iteration and logic so again array is also similar so one two three four five this is the array input array and you have to reverse like this four three two one so again it's a very simple code to write and uh, yeah so these are the basic questions which are asked in the ninja interview okay so in digital and prime also the some coding questions can be asked but at ninja level there are basic questions that can be asked from you okay so i hope this question is also clear to you uh, so guys if you are finding this video useful till here please make sure to hit that like and subscribe button because every like and subscribe button gives us the motivation for making more such videos okay moving to the next question explain your major project so again if you have mentioned like two uh, if you have mentioned the projects in your resume then this project is plays a very important role in the interview because more, many of the times the interview is entire focus on your project only. So if you are following my channel, if you will see from past two to three videos, two to three interviews, lot of questions were asked from project. Okay. So explain major project. So you will have to explain your project in detail. How to explain your project in detail? I have given the link in the i button or in the description box. So make sure to visit it. Okay. So I hope this question is clear to you. Next is what is CNN, RNN and LSTM? Why it was asked because the project was based on the uh, deep learning. Okay, so CNN convolution neural networks, RNN, I think, um, recurrent neural network, and LSTM is also there. Okay, so again, the basic basic uh, knowledge you must have about the project and the technologies that are related to your project. Okay, so I hope this particular question is also clear to you. Next is, I are you aware of React JS and Angular JS? So they asked me even though I hadn't mentioned it in my resume. So yeah, this is also possible that there are there might be some questions from you which you have not mentioned in your resume. Like here, it was asked like React JS and Angular JS. So again, they are the front end and back end technologies. So if you know the answer, it is good. If you don't know the answer, you can simply tell to the interviewer that no, I do not know the answer of this particular question. Okay, so it is not a big thing to say no to, to an answer in an interview. Okay, so I hope this question is also clear to you. Next is uh, then asked about the certification in AWS. So 
this particular candidate had done the certification in AWS. So it was asked that uh, about the certification also the questions were asked from the uh, candidate. Okay, so uh, what was the certification? What did you learn about the certification? Uh, how will you rate yourself? All these type of questions can be asked from you. Okay. Next is what is a cloud platform? So what is a cloud? So it is a basic definition that what is a cloud? So yeah. I hope this question is also clear to you. So these are all the technical questions which are asked from this ninja candidate. Next were the HR round questions like introduce yourself, why you chose TCS, what is your weakness, how would you handle the pressure to meet the deadlines of the project. Suppose you are staying out of the boundary and we do not have a capacity, how would you react. And next was are you okay with the relocation and night shift shifts, okay night shifts and how much would you rate yourself in the interview of yours, okay. So all these type of questions were asked in the HR round. So at many places once you clear the TR and MR round then only HR round is happening and at many cases all the TR, MR, HR are happening at a single interview only. Okay. So I hope these all questions are clear to you. So these are the ninja interview questions which are asked from the ninja candidate. So I hope all the questions are clear to you. If you have any doubt till now, uh, please write it in the comment section. I will be happy to clear that doubt. And if you have find, finding this video informative till here, do hit that like and subscribe button if you have not done it till now. Okay. So before moving ahead uh, to the digital interview experience, I would like to introduce to you that we recently launched our TCS important interview subject notes. Okay, in this particular PDFs, we have total 12 PDFs for different different subjects like C++ we have, Java we have, operating system we have, networking we have. So in every PDF, in every PDF we have mentioned the important interview questions for TCS Ninja Digital and Prime goals. Okay. So here, here you can see that to make these PDFs actual interview questions are considered. So the all the important interview questions for C++ are mentioned in the C++ PDF. All the important uh, interview questions for the operating system are mentioned in the operating system PDF. Okay. So total 12 PDFs you will be getting. The price is very nominal of 99 rupees. So uh, if you want to buy this, this, this PDF will help help you in like revising your concepts and preparing for the last moment okay last minute preparation this pdf will help if you are interested uh, to buy this pdf or you want to book the mock interviews with us all the links you will find in the description box okay so now let's continue towards the digital interview experience <clears throat> okay so now uh, moving forward towards the digital interview experience so the candidate mentioned c c plus plus python html in his resume okay Next was uh, next question was what is OOPS and pillar of OOPS and its types. So again, I have told you abstraction, encapsulation, inheritance, and polymorphism. How you have to explain each of these concepts in the interview? I will give the link in the i button for uh, for that video. Okay, do do watch that video also after this video. Okay. Next question was can we achieve multiple inheritance in C++ and Java? Okay, and how? So in C++ we can achieve multiple inheritance through virtual functions, virtual keyword, through virtual keyword. Okay. In Java, yes, we can achieve multiple inheritance, but using interfaces only, not using classes. Okay. In C++ using virtual keyword, I, we can use, we can uh, achieve multiple inheritance. And in Java using interfaces, we can achieve multiple inheritance. Okay. Moving to the next question. There were two coding questions that are asked from this candidate in the digital interview. First was re remove duplicate from the array. So if you have an array, let's suppose 1, 2, 2, 3, 3 and 4. So here you can see that 2 is repeating, 3 is also repeating. So we have to remove the duplicates from the array. So this is, uh, the output will become like this. The output will become like this. 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay. The next coding question that was asked was print maximum occurrences of a string. Example, there is a string, the triple A BB. So output is A. Okay. So a string is containing character. So we have to print that character which is occurring maximum time. So here A is occurring three times and B is occurring two times. So therefore we are out, we are printing A as our output because A is occurring more than B. That is three times. Okay. So this was the question. I hope these both questions are clear to you. Moving towards the next, uh, moving towards the next uh, question. Next is what is super keyword. So again, super keyword is used in Java. So it is a very commonly asked question that uh, this uh, the super keywords is used in the child class for referring some of the methods or some of the variables from the parent class okay so this is what a super keyword is used next is what is cross join and syntax so cross join is simple but uh, join in two tables okay uh, if we have table 1 or table 2 we will simply be joining uh, table 1 and 2 with the help of if, if i will do select star from uh, let's suppose tab table 1 comma table 2 where t1 dot name 
this is uh, equal to t2 dot name okay so this refers uh, this is a syntax uh, for the cross join and this is the condition that on which column we want to make a join generally the primary key and foreign key columns are taken for the joining purpose so therefore this t1 name and t2 name so this is name is the primary key in the table 1 and uh, in table 2 the name column is the foreign key uh, which references table 1 only okay so generally this condition is used for primary key and foreign key okay so i hope this uh, question is also clear to you next is sql query questions some uh, questions were like what is the what is a between a keyword in sql what is order by keyword and what is like okay like in and not not in so total five keywords were asked in the sql question okay so again it's very simple question you can find your answer in my notes also in your google also okay moving to the next question what are different different types of uh, input types in html so why html was asked from this candidate because html was mentioned in the resume so therefore html was asked here okay so do prepare everything do prepare everything that is mentioned in your resume okay so anything can be asked from resume so do not take anything lightly if you are not confident in any of these things that you have mentioned in resume just uh, delete them from the resume okay next question was how to find a version of html okay again questions like related to html next is how to import script file and what is the i frame so again it's related to html css okay next is i didn't mention css they asked me about what it is and its uses types of css types of position with real life example so again yeah see html only sometimes what happens is that see html and css are connected with each other so if you, if you have mentioned html only so interviewer might go to css also and might go to javascript also it's basic basic not in deep just basic things so again uh, what is css again it's used for like designing purpose types of css there is inline css there is external css so there are different types of css so those who are interested in front end might be knowing these type of questions and they are very basic from css okay so i hope this question is clear to you next is explain your project again i will give the video link in the i button or in the description box to how to explain your project in the interview it's a very important part of the interview next is what is gen ai so the project was based on the deep learning thing so many of like you will be seeing that many of the students projects are based on machine learning or deep learning so again the questions can be asked from these things okay so what is generative ai gen ai generative ai okay next is where can gen ai be used in real life example so gen ai can be used in chat gpt as you can see here as you can see in the real life so yeah that is also one of the examples next is how gen ai will be used in tcs so if you have any idea of your project that you want to implement in tcs or a high level view you can give okay to the interviewer that how <coughs> Will your knowledge or how will the your knowledge and Gen AI will benefit TCS? Okay. Moving to the next question was types of Gen AI. Again, those who are uh, learning, uh, those who know about deep learning, they might be knowing, understanding this thing that what are the types of Gen AI. Okay. Next is what is the difference between machine learning, AI, deep learning? So again, it's a very repeated question that is getting asked in the interview. What is the difference between machine learning, AI, and deep learning? Okay, so do prepare your projects and technologies related to your project very well because in both of the interviews we have seen that the questions are asked from the project as well as the technology that are used in the projects. So do prepare them very well. And if you have not liked the video till here, please like it if you are finding it informative. Okay, because lot of efforts are going on from my side to share these interview experiences on daily basis. So if you will check out my channel on daily basis i am trying to bring you the interview experiences for different different profiles whether it is ninja prime or digital okay so do hit that like button because every like and subscribe will give us the motivation for making more such videos okay so these are all the technical questions which are asked in this particular interview uh, next were some hr questions like what are your strengths and weaknesses so do mention any two strengths or two weaknesses then are hobbies related question that you have already mentioned in your resume next is any question for us so do ask the interviewer two or three questions like what does company expects from me what will be my role in the organization so what needs uh, what i should prepare for uh, after joining the company so all these type of questions you can ask from the interview and they will be happy to do so okay so a total i have discussed two interview experiences for ninja and digital in this inter in this video if you found this video uh, useful do hit that like and subscribe button and guys if you want to book the mock interviews with us all the links will find in the description box and if you want to uh, get the notes that is that will help you in last minute preparation and devising your concepts then also you get the links are in the description box do check them out so this was it for this video thank you for watching this video